Okay, so a little bean looking head right here. Kind of looks like a looks like a lima bean. That's fine. Don't even worry. Don't even sweat that for a minute because we're going to fix it. Um, one thing I do want to do is add a little more geometry. So uh, right here, we're going to build out the nose later and we're going to want some more geometry. So if you hit control R, you're going to see a loop cut pop up horizontally. We don't want that. So move it a little closer to the edge and you'll see a vertical pop up. We do want that. So just click to lock that in. If you move your uh, mouse after you click, you can bring it over here, bring it over here. Right in the middle is fine. It's, it's totally fine. And if you, if I grab this and move it, um, I can go in any direction, but let's say I want to stay on this line that is already established ar around my, you know, say you want to work with the edge flow, just tap G twice. If you double tap G, now when I move it, it's on the, it's on the existing plane of a line. Okay. And we're going to be doing a lot of that before we do any of that. Um, I'm going to turn wireframe on uh, just so I can see my, I'm going to turn x-ray off because I don't want to be able to touch anything in the back of my head. I only want to be able to touch what's in the front of my head. And I'm going to hit three to select faces. And then I'm going to select these faces right here. Um, these six faces are all, all I'm after right here. Um, let's hit E to extrude and lock that in. Okay, and then let's scale down that extrusion. And well, I hope I hope that's not too. Here, let me do that just so you can see the geometry that we're working with. Okay, and all we're doing is making the eyeball. Okay, that's it. Now, because the model that we're working over has geometry, it's gonna it might look confusing, and and that that's just on me as an educator. If you make it. If an educator makes something confusing, it's on the educator, okay? I'm going to grab this and move it on the z-axis down. See, I'm trying to match up my eye, and I'm going to grab it again and move it on the y-axis back. And I'm just creating that space uh, for where my eye is going to go. I'm going to hit 1 to tab into uh, vertex mode, and then I'm going to bring these back. Okay, like this right here is too far up. I'm going to grab it on the y and bring it back. And now I'm just shaping out my head a little bit. Okay. And I'm just bringing these back like that. And then uh, this here, I'll bring it, we want to shape the brow a little bit. So I'll bring this down to create this brow line, right? And I'll bring this down shape out brow line we can bring this over a little bit bring this over a little bit and because we'll, we'll obviously build out the nose here uh, momentarily and you can you can start to shape out your eyeball you know don't again don't worry if it's not if it doesn't look exactly like the form that's 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 fine we're going to add a lot to this okay we're not done by a long shot i'll bring this a little out out a little bit more okay so now here i'm gonna i'm gonna hide that just so you can just so we can see what we're trying to do a little easier okay and then with uh, face select selected I'm going to select all these guys and I'm going to delete them I'm gonna delete their faces okay I'm gonna hit one so now we've got our vertex selected you can come back in here and let's plug we can plug the uh, the front face on and let's match this up. Let's let's create our eye. We'll have this be down here. We'll have this be right here. We'll have this one come here. We'll have this one here. And we're just creating our eye pocket. And then here in the side view, we can again same thing. We can grab these and just kind of use our reference to put and place and we don't have to be too precise with with really anything um, because we're still we're still building it out this up like that see all I'm all I'm really trying to do is just just match up a little bit 
of, uh, of our geometry, right? And we'll add more and we'll, we're just going to be pushing and pulling this whole time. That's, that's really, that's, you know, if you've, if you've got this far, then you essentially have the entire process. Okay, let's, and this, I think this is too high right here. So let's grab these right here and bring them down. We'll grab on the Z and just bring them down. So these, oh, these are uh, below the brow line. These essentially, this is part of the bone that creates the brow line. But we'll get to, we'll get to that shortly and we can bring this down, bring this down, bring this over, bring this over. Okay, nice and easy peasy. Oh, bring this down. So one thing we're gonna need is some extra geometry and we're going to create that right now so sometimes you might just need some geometry that your uh that the loop cut tool can't quite give you right so say you want a loop cut you can do that or you can do that but i don't want either of those so i'm going to create my own custom geometry and we're going to do that with a knife tool so we're going to hit k for the knife tool um, you can also come over here if you want and select this, but K is the shortcut. So K, and you should see I got a green tip on my knife. My cursor just turned into a knife. And I'm going to click here and um, create some new geometry. It lights up yellow. Click it again. It lights up yellow. Click it again. And I'm going to create a geometry section around my eye, around my eyeball. Okay. Okay. And here and now just hit enter and there you go so I just created some custom geometry now if you know me you know I like a couple of things the Constitution I think that's a sacred document the musical stylings of Phil Collins I celebrate his entire collection I um, really think they came to life with Susudio and I love quads okay I'm a big quad fan okay and in creating this geometry right here, we inadvertently, unintentionally, mistakenly created a triangle. A triangle right there and a triangle right there. And we need to fix that stat. We want quads throughout. And what is a quad? A quad is a four-sided polygon. A polygon is a, is a multiple-sided shape greater than a triangle. And we're going to take this vertex right here and this vertex right here and we want to merge them at the center okay so we just got rid of that triangle and we need to do the same thing up here I'm going to take those two M to merge at center and just like that we got rid of our those two triangles so we can keep the geometry that we desired before now with this we can grab this and move this out a little bit okay so you can see how very easily and quickly we just created an eye socket, right? So we've got our brow is establishing, the eye pocket is establishing. We can see where our nose is gonna be very easily. We can see where our mouth is gonna be. Um, we're doing great. Everybody save your work. Uh, one thing I do wanna take care of before we mess around with the mouth is I wanna, this chin, I wanna bring this chin area down a little bit, this chin strap. You know what? Let's select a bunch of it and then grab and and bring that back here. What we can do is, with proportional editing, we'll bring the, okay, and we'll just bring all of it back like that, okay? Now I'm gonna turn proportional editing off, and I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna get with this edge loop, and I'll just bring this down on the Z, just a scotch, just a scotch. We can slide these down just like that, just so it's an even, now when we kick back into face mode and we extrude with the enter and then we're just going to scale that in just like we did last time okay and here's our mouth you can see we can now we got to now we can make a talkie we want to scale this in and then uh, one thing we can do here with uh, let me turn wireframe on just so you can see the mount where our mouth is you know this is this is where reference images are vital we can bring this down like that we can scale it on the z like that and then maybe we scale it out a little more like that and then scale it on the Z a little more like that okay so here is the the outline of our mouth 
and we can we can zoom in here and see that we need to pull this out a little bit so let's grab this on the y and pull it out like that right um this is this is box modeling you guys this this is why references are vital okay let's rotate this a tiny little bit like that and then come in here and we're just going to delete these faces so hit delete or you could hit x just the faces and then i'm going to hit one to uh select my verts alt click around my verts and if you alt click it'll select everything in the loop and what i want to do is scale this on the z even more and just kind of line this up so here again just line this up on our i'm just vertex and hitting g vertex hitting g vertex hitting g vertex hitting g vertex g vertex g vertex select g and now we have an outline of the lip but you can see in front view this looks grand inside view well y'all it uh it needs a little work okay let's grab this like that bring that here we'll grab this out like that bring this one here and and don't worry if these don't match up completely we're not we're not there yet you're not at a point where you should be even worrying about that at all and i mean that truly and it's one of the hardest things to do you know when someone says well don't worry about it it's like that doesn't really work all the time or ever um but truly don't worry about it if yours looks like you know and now he's got kind of a he's got kind of an iron man feel to it right but what we can do now is um we want to start building out the cheek let's go here maybe bring that out and we can start to bring this uh the jaw the jawline can come up a little bit here i'm gonna kick that into front view you know don't think that your mesh needs to be exactly like this mesh because i'm going to add additional geometry okay it's like it's one of those things where it's like it's more of a guideline don't think of it as a rule think of it as a guideline okay bring this out so we can bring that out like that and okay so now we got the mouth um one thing i notice is like see how this is jagged again we want to do our best to to make this as unjagged as possible we want these to be really really kind of smooth to be honest with you that's at least at least that's the goal in practice so if you want to hit g and you can slide it up or down um, i encourage you to do this i encourage you to keep your lines as straight as possible it makes for a smoother topology okay we can bring this out a little bit well maybe like that down here right so like this We can come in here and we can just relax that it just kind of chills it out a little bit um you can see we've got like something something happened here that really wasn't wasn't all that good for for the flow for the edge flow so i'm just just trying to just trying to help the edge flow all right okay so there now we we have the early structure of a mouth and in the next one we're going to build out the nose so save your work and move onward